This week on Vancouver Real, we have permaculture specialist Ryan Hill. I'm from the, the simplest form, permaculture is a design science, and that design science is based around uh, three ethics, and they are care of the earth, care of people, and return of surplus to the first two ethics. Uh, the main foundation of permaculture really is soil management and how do we make sure that we maintain a healthy soil because we talk about uh, growing plants in permaculture we talk about growing soil and as a by byproduct we get plants. Uh, I'll briefly touch on the history of chemical agriculture where it comes from. Uh, these companies that sell these agrochemical products really come out of World War II. Uh, these agrochemical companies really just saw that and ran with it and basically developed uh, agrochemical uh, agriculture as we see it today and they're uh, just trying to sell you a chemical. We think of plants producing uh, uh, and growing from the sun uh, and now while that is very true what they do actually is they create uh, sugars, uh, starches and carbohydrates from the photosynthetic effect and they, mo they pump the majority of those sugars into uh, the ground through their root system. These sugars then attract the bacteria and fungi that those plants need to thrive and survive quite oh, well. Wow. So, so they're, I mean, they're just the most efficient hunters essentially that wow. exist. They, they, wow. they get it to come to them. Cannabis is a plant which is uh, in a classification called a bioremediator. Uh, so what that does, what that means is it's, uh, it has the ability to pull toxins out of the ground. Um, wow. If you are ever using cannabis for anything, finding organic or even better than organic, if possible, is certainly really the important. way to go. Yeah. Mm. So there's, for every toxin that exists in nature, there is a bacteria or fungi that sees it as food. Uh, you know, my personal opinion on the state of our health is uh, the biggest threat right now to humanity is chronic malnutrition. You know, we are eating food that has absolutely, you know, zero nutritional value for the most part. You go and when I first found out about permaculture, yeah, it was kind of like an escapism for me from like the the terrible things I saw in the world. But as I've you know gone through the transition period of a few years now, uh, I'm really seeing a lot of hope. 